Hello everyone, in the last options are easy video of the course, I told you the basic terminology of options trading, told you what is call, what is put, the simplest things like that. And in this video I want to explain to you what is an option in the money, add the money, out of the money, and the simple math of options. I'll tell you how the price of an option is formed and on what model the calculations are based. You should know these facts to be able to figure out the price of options yourself and make the necessary calculations. Subscribe to our channel, we have a lot of interesting information on options and like the video if you like it. Be sure to post your questions in the comments, I'm always happy to answer them. We will start with the option board calculator of the AE terminal. On the left are call options and on the right are put options. Now let's figure out which options we have out of the money, which are at the money and which are in the money. Look, it's very simple. 27,526. It's the price of Bitcoin future right now. That's the May series of options. And accordingly, 27,500 is the central strike. Here it is. Call out of the money options are options with strikes greater than the price of the basic asset of the future. For example, call 29. Look at it. Give me a moment. Here. I will put one contract for buying, then the chart will open and we will see everything on the chart so everything is clear. This is the call of 29 strike, ready for buying. This is the 29th strike out of the money, because the price of the basic futures asset is less than the strike price. Next, accordingly, all of the strikes above 27500 are actually out of the money. Now let's see which call option we have in the money. It is an option, strike price of which is less than price of the basic asset. For example, a call of 25. Look, this is the call option we have in the money. This is important to understand because the math of options is based on whatever the option is in the money or out of the money. This option is in the money. Its strike price is less than the future price. It's very simple. Now let's look at the at the money option, an ATM option. This is an option, the price of which is close to the price of the underlying basic asset. For example, 27500 is the price of the underlying basic asset. And accordingly, the nearest strikes, such as 27 or 28, these are at the money options. This is how things are with call options. Now let's see what happens with put options. With them everything is different. For example, the put option 25 is now out of the money. Take a look at yourself. This means that if the strike price for the put option is lower than the price of the basic asset, then this option is out of the money. Next is an in the money option. If the strike price is greater than the price of the basic asset. Let's look at an example. Here, put 27 in the money. And here the strike price is greater than the price of the basic asset. So it is the other way around compared to call options. And we have the same thing with the add the money options. Put option 27500. 28. In short, around the price of the basic asset. These are add the money options. This is important to understand, because it will come in handy in the next lesson. You will understand where the deltas are and where the awards are. The further away strike, the further out of the money option is, the cheaper it is. Let's take a call of strike 30 option as an example. Its theoretical price is 242 points. Accordingly, the further out of the money the option is, the cheaper it is. The more in the money the option, the more expensive it is. There are two values at play here. First, it will be very important now, pay attention. The word value of an option is made up of two values, the intrinsic value and the time value. What is intrinsic value? It is a measure of how in the money an option is. If an option is out of the money, such as this, call 30, then it has no intrinsic value. It only has a time value, because it's out of the money. 
Now, its theoretical price is 246. I'll explain what the theoretical price is a little later. It has only a time award, because it is out of the money. If we consider a call of strike of 26500, here's what we get. Since the option is in the money, and the future price is 27500, its intrinsic value is more than a thousand in the money. Again, the futures are now 7529, and the strike option is 26500. That means its intrinsic value is 1021 points, and the rest, its theoretical price, 1601, this is a time award. It turns out that 570 points, it has already become 502, subtract it from 1002, and what we have got is the time value. And this is what these lines are. This is the time value of this option, which I will explain in more detail later on. Now I'm going to break down the intrinsic value and the time value. It turns out that the deeper the option is in the money, the higher its intrinsic value becomes, by an amount equal to how in the money it is. For a call option, it's the futures price minus strike price equals intrinsic value. And the more in the money, the higher the intrinsic value. And for a put option, it's the other way around. Let's say a put option of 25,500 strike. It's out of the money and has only an intrinsic value. The award is equal to the time value of the option. If its strike became larger, if we consider option with a strike greater than the price of the futures, which is in the money for example, Let's also try 28500. Take a look at it. The put with a strike of 28500 will have an intrinsic value of the strike minus the future price. Accordingly, it's just under 1979 points. And to this, we add the time value. The generally accepted model for calculation is the Black-Scholes model. In the late 80s, Black and Scholes generalized the calculations of the options. They made a general model. This became the basis for calculations on the Chicago exchange. There was a problem with calculating options for different classes of goods, for different futures, for different assets and stocks and commodity futures. It was impossible to use one general option model. Different models were used and it was a bit janky at first. It was difficult to make options calculations. But Black and Scholes, they got the Nobel Prize for it. As a result, their model became the basis for stock options trading, because it allowed to generalize calculations in one model, to make calculations for different markets, for different asset classes. Note that in fact we make calculations by Black's model, because we don't use the funding rate. That is, we don't use the risk-free rate. But why don't we use it? Because we have options on the futures in our options calculations. The futures base already has the risk-free rate of money written into it. So we're actually using the black model. Let's look further. This is where you can do all your calculations. So, what affects the value of options? What does the award on the option consist of? Well, we know what it is. It's the intrinsic value, the in-the-money value of the option and the time value. Next. What affects time value? The time value is affected by the price of the basic asset, IV, that is, volatility. It has many definitions. And then there's the time of expiration of the option. It also matters what type, call or put. But here's the thing. To calculate the time award, the time value of an option, it doesn't matter whether it's call or put. By the parity rule, and I think we'll get into that in the next video, the parity rule is very important for those who might be interesting in arbitrage and those who trade options. In any case, everyone should understand what the parity rule is. Call slash put parity, how to make futures out of the options, 
how to make puts out of the futures and vice versa, how to build synthetic structures, how to use arbitrage strategies. These basic things must be understood in order to trade options successfully. In this calculator, options board terminal E, to set the required value, we can change the price of the basic asset right here. To do this, we turn off the online mode and we can change the price of the basic future asset. We can change the billing date. The default is the current date and we can set another one, closer to expiration. Accordingly, the life of the option will be reduced. Look at the simple example. We want to calculate what the price of the option will be. For example, a call option 30. What will be its price the next Monday? So we do it and it comes out to 39. If the price of the base asset will go up, it will be 30,000. Done. We calculate the theoretical price at 650. In other words, the theoretical price is a calculation based on inputs according to the Black-Scholes model. So we set the time for expiration. We changed it, we moved it a week ahead, one week to expiration is left. Not even less. Five days until expiration. Then we change the price of the basic asset, so that the price goes up to 30. This is the scenario that we are considering. And we can also change the volatility. Change the volatility, set another volatility for example. If the volatility shows a sharp increase, it would increase to 59 for example. Here it is calculated. The price is equal to 717 points of this option. We can calculate any option in our options board, which is a calculator at the same time. And we can figure out how the time of expiration, future changes and all the other data that affects the price. I give you this task. Make calculations for call and put options for different dates to understand. Figure out what the effect on the price of the option is when the date of calculation and volatility changes. I also want to add a couple of words about the profile. Very important to understand. The thinnest line shows what the profit or loss PL will be when the price of the basic asset changes. If it rises, if it falls, we can look at this scale. The price of the basic asset is displayed, the price of the futures, and here we can see profit and loss. Here we can see what our financial results will be on that option if the basic asset price changes. The different colored dots show different dates. See here, the chart shows the data it was given. You can bring this back by simply clicking the online checkbox and everything will go back. Take a look for yourself. And these are the PL time curves that show what will happen on the specified date. Will there be a loss or gain on that option? Now you can try to make the calculation by calls, by different puts, in the money, on the money and out of the money. And see how volatility, time expiration and the price of the basic asset are affected. I will end the video here. Please like it if you liked it, write your questions, I will definitely answer. I wish you all the best, study trading with options, it's not only useful, but also profitable. Goodbye and thank you.